Dragon Ball Z cards will be the new Pokemon, I promise you. We're talking the first edition Pokemon cards. And if that's something that catches your interest on learning why I believe that's going to happen, we'll just stay till the end of the video. It'll be a quick one, like always. But with that being said, let's jump into it. All right, so the reason I'm saying Dragon Ball Z cards are going to be the next Pokemon is because they have this legacy that they're building. It's almost like saying Family Guy is the next Simpsons. They've created so many seasons and so much success off this cartoon that they replicated it into Family Guy pretty much. And the same thing I believe is going on with Pokemon to Dragon Ball Z. And I say that because just like Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z's legacy really can't be hurt because Goku's not gonna, you know, rape somebody or abuse somebody or get a DUI or anything of that nature because they're not real. They simply live in animation. And I think Dragon Ball Z is very generational, which means it's gonna be passed down from generation time after time after time, just like Pokemon, because it's just like everlasting. It's not only consumed in 2010 to 2020. It's been around and it's gonna stay around and it's gonna continue to be around. Now, the only thing that I have to say about this is what Dragon Ball Z cards would you consider to be the first edition? Because that's ultimately where I would want to be at in this space. I love Dragon Ball Z cards. They look amazing. They're very pleasing to look at. And I think they're going to hold value over time, especially since the card market is coming down more. I'm not buying just yet, but I would love to buy some Dragon Ball Z slabs and hold on to them for the future, especially the ones that people consider like more the OG cards, the first edition, XYZ, all that, because I believe the next card boom is going to be like first edition Pokemon cards and Dragon Ball Z cards and that's because well again their legacy can't be touched because LeBron yeah he has a great legacy but he also does a lot of dumb things off the court so it's low key kind of hurting his legacy but we'll see how that plays out but there's a lot of factors in being an actual human that can affect your worth in the card again Dragon Ball Z nothing can affect them well I guess popularity can but that's really with everything honestly and I don't see Dragon Ball Z just falling off the planet I see it only getting bigger truthfully and if they can play this right maybe they can even move into the uh, metaverse, right? And if they do that right, then shh, no stopping them. But I am excited to see where Dragon Ball Z cards go. I think they are probably the most high rewarded investments in cards. And cards are really not investments because it's really once in a generational boom. But I mean, long term, if you want to hold them because you like them, then that makes sense. Especially if you're buying like first edition ones, the ones that are kind of low key, like, you know, because again, supply and demand, think about that always. But that's just my opinion. I do believe Dragon Ball Z is going to be like Pokemon and be around forever and hold a long-term value and they're going to be highly respected. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think I'm crazy? Do you not? Do you believe what I'm saying? Do you think nothing could ever touch Pokemon? I don't know. You let me know. I am just a YouTuber and I am barely even a YouTuber. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this type of content. If you did, I would appreciate it if you dropped a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you got to do to stay in the loop. I drop a video about every other day, helping you mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, and emotionally, all for free. All you got to do is subscribe. That is it. Seriously, that's it. And my name is Derek. We're flipping and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.